eat food, mostly plants, and not too much. Have you memorized our catchy theme yet? Because I'm just gonna keep driving at home. Now today, we're going to start focusing on the mostly plants part of that catchy phrase. And what better place to do so than on a farm. Antioxidants, fiber, omega-3s, vitamins, minerals, even if we were to strip away all of that fancy nutritional talk, a diet rich in fruits and vegetables is indeed healthier for us. And I don't want to sound like that nagging parent, eat your vegetables. My heart is in the right place. For here's what we know. A diet rich in fruits and vegetables reduces our risk of dying from Western diseases. See, in countries where people are eating a minimum of a pound of fruits and vegetables daily, the rate of cancer is half than what it is here in the U.S. When eating a diet primarily made up of plants, one consumes far fewer calories. And in study after study, vegetarians are healthier than carnivores and live longer lives. Wait, did I just tell you not to eat meat? No, Michael Pollan is saying eat mostly plants, not only plants. But perhaps just a small shift in our thinking is all that's needed for us to adopt a plant-based diet. For example, rather than it being the main dish, maybe consider meat just an accessory or a side dish. One of the easy ways to do this is simply to swap portion sizes. Instead of a large serving of meat and a small serving of vegetables, just flip that on end. But add more plants to your plate for the health of it. Yeah, just for the health of it. It is. <laughs>